Hello and welcome back to DNM Motorsports. Today we're spending time with an outrageous supercar. This is a Ferrari 430 Scuderia that's been amplified with a Novatec twin supercharger setup good for 717 horsepower. Unbelievable. Let's take a look. We recently sold a 2009 Scuderia that was a pristine factory stock car. Having spent a good amount of time with that car, I've really come to appreciate what makes the Scuderia one of the greatest supercars ever produced. Today we're looking at a completely different beast. This 2008 Ferrari 430 Scuderia, finished in Rosso Fiorano with silver stripes, has been treated to the mythical Novatec twin supercharger setup, good for 717 horsepower and guaranteed to be one of the fastest Ferraris ever to prowl the open road. The Novatec system is developed by Novatec Rosso, a specialty Ferrari tuner in Germany. The quality of Novatec's twin supercharger system is of factory grade. A quick inspection of the engine bay doesn't differ much from a stock 430 Scuderia. In order to create this car, expert engineering and great care for detail needed to mold with Ferrari's already incredible engineering acumen so that the magic of the Ferrari Scuderia was not diminished. Think about it, 717 horsepower is an amazing amount of power, especially when it powers a lightweight supercar with the performance credentials to make use of it. Aside from a slightly louder exhaust note, there's not much that would indicate that this car is different from stock. Around town, it feels infinitely powerful, but the driveline is as smooth as a stock Scuderia, which is a shockingly refined machine. Press the engine start button, and the Scuderia produces some of the greatest sounds ever to come from the back of a Ferrari. The six-speed sequential manual F1 Superfast 2 transmission is much more than just a gearbox. Driveline logic is shared by both the engine and transmission. They work in harmony to create a smooth and lightning quick drive experience. The transmission works to optimize clutch engagement and gear change speed, while the engine cuts torque precisely to enable gear changes as quick as 60 milliseconds. Even more incredible is the smoothness in which these gear changes are made. The fast revving V8 dials up the right engine speed the blink of an eye when downshifting. Yet you don't experience some of the drama you'd have in other high performance single clutch setups. I was honored to take a drive with retired Formula One driver Francesco Rigatoni so that he could display the smoothness and ease of use of the Novatec supercharged Scuderia. Francesco grew up in the hills of Tuscany with Ferrari blood in his veins, so getting behind the wheel of this Italian supercar is second nature. His English wasn't not so good, but our quick ride on the closed race course confirmed that yes, the Novatec supercharged Scuderia was every bit as smooth and refined as the original, but when it comes to speed, the wave of power surges forward like a dragster. Even with such incredible output, the Ferrari confidently responds, giving the driver a sense of control. Wow. Back home, Francesco spends most of his time dedicated to his charity work with young boys. So I'm extra thankful for this once-in-a-lifetime opportunity that I'll remember for weeks to come. Up front in the 430, you do have a decently sized trunk. Obviously, it's somewhat minimal because the Scuderia is built to be a lightweight variant of the 430, but uh, everything in here is as new condition. You can see the Ferrari PPG paint coat here. Rosso Fiorano, but it's worth noting that with the Novatec setup here, you actually have a slightly modified bumper. They actually take the bumper off, put larger uh, radiators up front here, and then they also have to repackage just the way the hinge is here for the front hatch. But other than that, I mean, it really is in as new condition. At the rear of the Scuderia, you're not going to be very surprised to see that the interior of the engine bay doesn't really show a whole lot different than you'd see with a stock car. Uh, there's a little bit different ducting, obviously the air boxes have been changed, but you can't see the supercharger apparatus that's set up uh, on the outboard side here. But still a stock Ferrari system, which sounds amazing for the exhaust. Uh, and all the electronics that make the Scuderia amazing are still built into this car. Now in this tune, this car makes 717 horsepower. It's an amazing amount of power out of a car this size. Just getting in this car, sitting in here feels spectacular. Uh, you've got Alcantara seats, Alcantara suede headliner with a bunch of just beautiful decor. Carbon fiber virtually everywhere. These door panels are carbon fiber with machined aluminum for the uh, door bits, as well as carbon fiber kick plate, carbon fiber console, carbon fiber, carbon fiber, carbon fiber. Uh, the steering wheel obviously is heavily focused towards business. You've got a row of LEDs here that'll light up uh, as you approach Redline much in the same way you'd see in an F1 car. Engine start button's right here, so just turn the key and fire that up, and then you have the uh, Manatino here with five settings, uh, which also has an added setting with the Novatec system for a silent exhaust. All you basically do is put it in the slippery road mode, and you'll actually hear a set of baffles close uh, on the car, but uh, extremely comfortable seats. They do slide front and aft, and then you have a just a twist here to 
change the backrest rake, and then under here is a tilt and telescoping steering wheel. One particular thing to note too with this car is that the Passport uh, radar system was added. Dead center here you actually have Ferrari's uh, in-dash navigation system. Now it's a single DIN setup but it still is a navigation system in there and you do have a hidden memory card slot as well. Power windows, power locks with the factory alarm, uh, automatic climate control system here just set your temperature and forget it. And then the only other real pieces to note are right here on the console you've got the control for the F1 super fast transmission. Uh, this is how you engage reverse, put your foot on the brake and literally hold this R button, you'll see an R illuminate in there. And then on auto, just hit auto and the car will actually shift itself much in the same manner that an automatic transmission would. Right here you've got a switch for the active suspension that will actually stiffen the suspension uh, even more than the standard ride. The stereo is also equipped with Bluetooth uh, telephone communication. To start up this bad boy, i got the key right on me right here. Let's turn the key forward. Put the car in neutral, which it already is. Hit the start button. Since we recently filmed a 2009 Scuderia, take a look at some of the footage that we had of that car. Granted, this one only has 503 horsepower, but it's a bit more focused on the experience behind the wheel of the Scuderia. Just assume you can replicate the same, but insert another 244 horsepower. So Scuderia really is the race equivalent, I guess, of the road-going Ferraris. Uh, and it doesn't really try to mask that. There's really not a whole lot of sound deadening. The floors are exposed metal. But you've got a 503 horsepower V8 behind your head with a set of active exhaust pipes that when you lean in enough, you'll hear it change. It's like, dude, it's into the VTEC, bro. No, man. Right, well we're heading onto the highway here. We're taking a 270 degree ramp. Oh my lord. But it's really smooth in everything it does. You know, you never really read a whole lot about Ferrari technology because they pretty much develop all their own stuff to be exclusive to their brand. So when you consider the fact that, uh, you know, you've got this little Manatino thing here. You've got five settings. you got a slippery road setting, sport, which is like the normal ride. We're in race right now, which stiffens the suspension. You can actually feel it. I'll go back into sport and softens up a little bit. Don't get me wrong, it's no Cadillac. And you've got two settings, one that just cuts your traction off, but keeps the stability control, and then one that's just for insane people that cuts it all off. This car is so potent, it's like driving a M80 firecracker. I mean, it, you just light the wick and it explodes. But it's actually pretty comfy. These seats are awesome. These are some of the best seats I've ever sat in. That's no joke. Here's what this car sounds like at full tilt. We'll put on a second gear here. And carbon ceramic brakes. Wow. And think about it, we're going 80 miles an hour on a closed race course in sixth gear. And it's not very loud. I mean, there's really not a lot of sound deadening, but it's extremely solid. It's no squeaks or rattles. It's kind of a walk in the park at this speed. You know, for us, it's really a pleasure to showcase a car of this caliber. Uh, you know, we're really car geeks at heart, too, so it's exciting for us to get our hands on something of this kind of quality. So, you know, for more information on this car, check it out on our website. You'll find us at dmautosales.com. Thanks for spending some time with us, and if you have any questions, feel free to reach out. We'll see you next time.